Okay, drawing. Most schools will require that your portfolio is about half filled with drawing work. Whether or not you agree that drawing is the best demonstration of skill for every art major is another topic, but I had to do it and you probably will too. So my RISD portfolio was 20 pieces, which meant the first 10 were drawings. I'm starting with two graphite still lives, one for a class at my high school and one for a class I took at the local art store. Next is a charcoal drawing of a pair of shoes that I did just because I needed something else to fill up my portfolio. After that are a series of charcoal nude drawing studies that I did at the RISD pre-college program in 2006. Then is a drawing I did for a class at my local community college. This drawing is actually huge, it was like four feet wide. And finally, a pen stippling study, which was a project for one of my design classes in high school. So, a few tips if you are currently putting together your portfolio. Number one, present everything really well. Either photograph everything using a DSLR under natural light, or scan it on a good quality scanner. Use Photoshop to color correct and crop each piece, because the presentation is just as important as the work itself. Number two, play to your strengths. I'm not great at drawing, so I included the minimum amount of drawings they needed. But since I was going into graphic design, I also included as many examples of my design work as I possibly could. Number three, art schools love figure drawings. Not necessarily of your own body, but if you can take a nude drawing class at a local community college or art store, it's really great for colleges to see that you've already started studying how to draw the human body. And number four, show a large variety of media. Maybe you're amazing at drawing faces in watercolor, so definitely include some of that, but also include some pieces in graphite and charcoal, maybe colored pencil or paint. Just be sure to show that you're already experimenting in a variety of media, and that you're open to exploration and learning more. I can't believe I just showed you guys all that. Let me know if you have any questions, or if you've already been through applying to art school and you have any more tips to share. So that was all of my terrible drawing work from six years ago. If you want to see the design work that I put in my portfolio, you can watch this video right here. Or if you've already watched that video and you want to see my latest Halloween crafting video where I bedazzle a sonic screwdriver, you can watch that video right here. Thank you so much for watching, I will see you all next time.